Hello. I'm here with Tim Rick from ABISPL. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you? Not bad. Spaces have changed quite a lot, right? Be it corporate, education, hospitality, everything's gone hybrid, everything's different. I wanted to talk to you about what impact that has had on services and what kind of services clients are demanding once systems have been put in place. Sure. So traditionally, uh, our customers have really focused on how to uh, physically support products that are deployed out in their environment. Increasingly, the amount of technology being deployed has outpaced the ability for them to apply human capital towards those spaces. So what we're seeing back from our customer community is to enable technology solutions that help them manage the technology that they're deploying through their enterprise. So they're looking for cloud-based management and monitoring applications that can help them more efficiently ensure reliability and uptime within their environment. So AVISPL has been really engaged in cloud-managed services, um, and we're making that a focal point of our managed services and our services program moving forward. Yeah, and AVISPL's service offering has been expanding, it's been growing, it's been maturing. You guys have set up an operation in India, mm -hmm. which has bolstered your capabilities. Mm -hmm. Could you kind of give us a summary of where you find yourself, how your operations have improved, what's next? Yeah, absolutely. So India has been a really exciting opportunity for us. And ultimately what we do as a business is we solicit from our customers, where in the world do we need to be to most effectively support you? So India was one of those places that was identified uh, along with Mexico. Uh, and specifically, we took two different paths to supporting those markets. Uh, in India, we decided to grow organically, and we're now approaching 100 employees in India with locations in Gurgaon, Mumbai, and Bangalore. Uh, and in Mexico, we made the decision to acquire the assets of a company called Multisistemas, and we're in Monterey and Mexico City. So those are just recent examples of expansions that we've made in 2022, uh, but obviously we now have direct presence uh, in countries all throughout the world. And there's talk of AI on the horizon, artificial intelligence, maybe AI and AV convergence. To me, it seems like services would be a really good spot for us to leverage artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? What do you see on the horizon? What's the next step in the evolution of your service offering? Sure, so increasingly what we're seeing is it's not only good enough to report that a problem has happened, but now it's time to scale how we do something about those problems that are being observed. Uh, and so uh, what we've done as a company is in our management application, Symphony, uh, we've introduced a workflow engine that can automate the response to issues that we're identifying within our customer environments. And that's what we feel is kind of a first step towards like deploying artificial intelligence based solutions within our customer environments. The next step for us would be to look at integrating an artificial intelligence engine into our application so that our solution is constantly learning about what's happening within our customers' environments and what's being reported up through our management application, then leveraging our workflow automation to actually go action um, you know, solutions to those observed problems. Tim, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.